Alright, Don Corn's back with another video. Today I'm doing the LeBron denim. Um, this is a uh, size 10 and a half LeBron X EXT denim QS. So uh, before I get into the shoe, I'll tell you a little bit about how I got it. I bought this one last night, sold it last night too, to a friend of mine. Um, <clears throat> I uh, was on vacation when these shoes released, but the release date was actually delayed uh, in my city uh, by maybe two weeks. So I was on vacation, I, I kept checking in with the store, checking in with the store. Uh, they finally told me they were getting them. I came home early from vacation. Uh, to line up. I went into the store in the morning uh, about 6 in the morning There are already five people in line. They've been there since the night before they said yo, bro There's only five pairs and I said you got to be kidding me went and looked on the door There was a list of the sizes only five pairs. I looked at the line five dudes in line So I did the math I uh, was really unhappy that I didn't get them. I was even more unhappy when I saw uh, one of the guys who was in the line at another release wearing them I was pissed off that I didn't get a pair, you know, like I, I, I came back early from vacation. Who wants to do that to get nothing, you know? So uh, I even dragged my girlfriend back with me. She was really pissed. So uh, we'll just take a look at the shoe here real quick while I'm telling the rest of the story, you know. But uh, so then when the hazelnuts and the black mints came out, uh, the release was late too again. And uh, they, they ended up releasing both the black mint and the, the hazelnut, aka the Scooby, at the, the same time. And uh, I waited in line. I, was, I wasn't the first one there that day. To be honest, I didn't really give a shit about getting them at that point. The release was late, you know, the hype was off. Uh, but I went anyway, not, not early, just went, you know. I, I could have got the, uh, uh, the hazelnut in a size 12, but the box was all crushed up and everything, so I said, screw it, I'm not gonna take it. So anyway, Buddy ended up selling me uh, the hazelnut and the black mint later for $150 a piece. He gave me a sick deal. Uh, so I ended up buying these from him for $250 uh, a little bit later. I uh, didn't have a problem paying that much because uh, obviously he gave me a really good deal on the other two. So, uh, so yeah, I just wanted to throw up the video before I ship them out tomorrow. We'll go over the shoe a little bit right now, but I just wanted to give you the, the history of how I got them. Uh, kind of just goes to show you that you know if you 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 don't get the shoe at the release don't be mad you, you'll still get it uh, no matter what happens something will work out you'll get the shoe unless it's something crazy and, you know and, and it's still who knows somebody could be a nice guy and hook you up so uh, mad shout outs to the dude who hooked me up with these uh, you know props to the dude who's taking them too you know uh, respect uh, uh, good looking out for, for anyone who buys from me and I definitely want to hook anybody up I can with some authentic stuff never sell fakes never sell worn shoes you know all my stuff is DS with receipts unless it's a situation like this where I got the shoe from a friend who's a personal collector doesn't keep the receipts for himself doesn't need them he knows they're authentic he gets them from the store uh, so so yeah, let's get into the shoe real quick. A little, a little review. You can kind of see before I get in too close. You can see the the denim is, is kind of, uh, you know, you got that that starchy kind of look to it. Uh, so, and you can see the perforation holes on the side. They're real clean. They're not. They're not like, you know, uh, not well punched or whatnot. Uh, you've got the the check, the light, the light denim check in the back. You've got the Fireberry uh, midsole, I guess, and then uh, the bubble all down the bottom with the, uh, you got the, the pink uh, bars all on the inside. It looks really cool. I'll pick up the shoe a little bit uh, later so you can check it out. Uh, you got the clear, clear sole underneath that. And then on the very tip, you've got the LeBron X on the bottom. You've got the, uh, you've got the LeBron logo there. With the uh, with the X, with the ten, uh, these look really cool on the bottom anyway. Um, and then we'll we'll show you the front. We got the toe box with the check. Uh, we've got really light uh, etchings in this right here. They go all around here. Um, and they go around the inside too. Real real light. Can't even can't even see them in that light real light line that goes around there 
and then we've got uh, more perforation uh, holes right here uh, we've got the leather tongue a nice tan leather uh, super high quality feel to it you know feels like a pair of dress shoes um, we've got the pink lace loops double double threaded I guess your double double loop lace loops and then underneath it goes through uh, the laces go through the denim as you can see um, the inside of the shoe I'll let you take a look that's inside the shoe lighting's not great so can't really uh, I can't really see too much I hate bending the tongues out to show the label on the inside so you're just gonna deal with what you can deal with right here back of the shoe got the, the, the puffed up uh, back on the on the uh, the high top here we've got the LeBron uh, lion here and we've got the continued bubble all the way around the inside get a get a good look on the, uh, the exterior here Right, and uh, this shoe does not have the same emblem on the back. It's just on that one shoe. So, uh, so yeah, it's just the one shoe that has the LeBron logo on the back. But uh, yeah, these shoes are crazy. These shoes are, are really crazy. I really like them. Uh, really happy to be able to hook uh, somebody up with them. Um, got a bunch of other shoes for sale right now, mostly Jordans, but I got uh, I got a lot of stuff on deck, so check it out, check out uh, my other videos, hit me up, text me, whatever you want to do. Uh, if you're looking for a, a future release, let me know, because I got, uh, got pre-order action going on, you know, you want to get the pre-order in for, uh, for some J's or whatnot. I, I try not to take pre-orders for really, really limited stuff, because it's not always a guarantee, as you can see. Uh, with these but like I like like I said the situations tend to work out where I do get them uh, so yeah check out my other vids Don Corns uh, just so you know the album I got playing in the background today is a little DJ quick uh, from 95 I believe it's called uh, safe and sound so check that out too super dope album and uh, yeah check out my other vids I hope I get some more up soon